In today's how-to series, we're going to touch and explain uh, on the subject of the drop step technique, which is a technique that is used by a lot of uh, professional shooters in our discipline and enables them to have an explosive start. So from the standing still uh, and standing relaxed position, the technique enables them to accelerate at a very fast pace in order to gain, again, valuable um, portions of uh, seconds, which at the end of the stage is going to hopefully give us uh, a competitive advantage. Uh, beginning shooters that just start to learn our uh, sports disciplines, oftentimes when they need to start from a standing relaxed uh, position or if they stop somewhere on the stage to engage targets, they use a couple of different ways to restart and move to the next position on the stage. The most common one is where they will engage a target and then just start moving in the way that they need to go without any specific techniques. A second uh, option that and a second possibility that you might see, especially for beginner, beginning and beginners shooters, is they will launch and swing the upper part of their body to move in the right direction. So if I have just engaged a target, I will start moving with the upper part of my uh, body. That's another uh, technique that you might see. Another option that you might encounter, again, especially with uh, beginner shooters, is when they ended their um, array that they just shot, they will use their arms to actually move them in the right way. So it will look like this, they shot and then they will actually throw their arms in the direction that they need to go. This is another option. Another um, variation that you might see when people leave from a static position in which they just engage a target is they will move instead of slinging their arms, they will actually kick out their feet to start moving. A brief reminder on what the core position entails. Again, in this scenario, uh, the target uh, indicates the down range area. Uh, my feet are approximately at shoulder width, uh, pointed slightly outwards. My weak foot is slightly further than my strong foot. Uh, my knees are slightly bent. The rest of my body um, and the upper part of my body acts like a tank uh, to red. I will index my gun and I will index my magazines. And this is the, the core position. The couple of preconditions and points of attention that I want to explain before really explaining the drop step uh, technique. The first precondition I like to discuss is uh, obviously what is your, your skill level, meaning are you a beginner, an intermediate or an advanced uh, shooter, because depending on where you are on the learning curve, um, a set of techniques can be learned and adapted whilst uh, other techniques are more suitable to be learned once you acquired the basic techniques for that uh, respective sports discipline. Another uh, point of attention is obviously your physical fitness. The drop step technique is a technique that can be used by any type of uh, shooter. Another uh, point of attention is obviously, as always, the stage briefing and the stage walkthrough, which is critical to determine um, which techniques you're going to use, uh, how you're going to use them, when, do you, when you're going to use them, and also to start visualizing 
the different techniques. Uh, obviously for the drop step technique, one of the points of attention is especially do you start in a box, do you start out of a box, do you start um, near a fault line or something similar like that. So the environment um, that is part of the stage is very important as well as the terrain. Again, is it a very equal concrete floor? Are there pebbles? Is it sand? Is it mud? Is it rainy? So the terrain will also have huge influence on the, um, the way you're going to use the drop step, drop step technique. And finally, I also uh, want to touch on the footwear that you have, what type of shoes. Uh, I'm currently in a uh, dry environment and with a very equal floor with a good grip. But if you shoot, for example, uh, outside um, in sand, you, you need different footwear. So if you're going to use footwear that is meant for an indoor um, equal floor environment, uh, you might encounter some issues if you're going to wear these types of shoes in an outdoor range, especially when there is sand or mud uh, or anything similar to that. You need a different kind of shoes and that will also impact the drop step technique. Starting from our core position implies that if I want to move forwards, what I'm going to do is at the beep I will grab my gun, I will pick it out of the holster and in the meantime I will slightly jump up, move my strong foot backwards, land on my tips and in that motion I will push off into the right direction downrange. So this is the drop step technique. So again starting from my core position. What I'll do is I'll grab my gun, jump up slightly, you don't have to jump up uh, 10 centimeters, move my strong foot backwards, land on my tips, the front side of my foot, and push off into the down range direction. This is the drop step technique moving into the forward direction. This is what it looks like. So at the beep, pick up my gun, jump up, position my foot backwards and launch myself into the downrange direction. Again. As you can see, it looks explosive, which it is, because using the, this, the, the drop step technique, it will enable you to gain uh, tens of seconds per position, whilst, especially when you are standing still, per position, moving towards the next uh, point. Obviously, for left hand shooters, um, you have to do the same thing, but then with your other foot, but the technique is the same. The next drop step technique involves me moving backwards. So imagine that, for example, here I'm currently down range. I just finished engaging this target and I need to move backwards through a hallway to go to the next part of the stage, for example. How do I do this? You can actually just turn and start moving backwards, or you can use the drop step technique. The drop step technique in this scenario implies that we're going to do the same thing as we did in the fourth position, which means that I want to explosively turn and move myself back in the uprange direction. So in this scenario I've just completed a shotting, shooting an array of uh, targets and what I'll do now is I will actually again jump up slightly, move my strong foot forwards, land again on the tip 
of my um, strong foot and push myself off in the other direction. So jump up, push myself off and then move in the up range direction. So again, I just shot this target. And we'll start moving. This is the explosive drop step technique moving backwards. Now in the next drop step technique, we're gonna first move from the, the this position to the right. And the same principle applies, but now instead of using our strong foot, because we need to move into the right uh, direction, we're gonna push off with our weak foot. And the principle is the same. So in this scenario, this is downrange, and we need to move to the right. I just shot a uh, target array. What I'll do is I'll jump up slightly, push off with my weak foot and the tip and I will launch myself in the right direction and this is what it looks like so I just shot again I just shot obviously uh, if we need to leave from this position to the left, we do the same thing, but instead of using our weak foot, we will use our strong foot. Which means that I need to move into the um, left direction, I will jump up, push, and move out. So, I just shot the target away, I will slightly jump up, slightly, throw my foot, my strong foot, to the right, I will land on the tip and whilst I'm doing it, I will catapult myself out of that position, the drop step position. So I just shot, that's the explosive start. <laughs>